are such an asshole. Hi, Aaron. Returning client here. I was hoping to get your view on the viability of a free of freelance web design. Usually, I'm quite wary of internet get rich quick stream, schemes, <clears throat> drop shipping, Amazon FBA, Shopify, blog slash ebook sales, and the Carlson School of Management. But this seems like something worth pursuing as you develop a real skill programming and then screen potential businesses that could use an updated modern website. The only reason only reason <clears throat> I might be wary of this is how I found it on a forum and the guy who talks about it sells a course on it. Although he provides a ton of useful information, he gives most of it for free. I don't like that he's selling a course. It leads me to believe it might not be as lucrative as he claims. Yes! Look, Tony Robbins is the perfect example, okay? What has he done? I don't know what he did. What Was he Jack Welsh? Did Was he an Astro? What did he do? He just comes in and says nice things. And you know what? You got to hand it to him for that. Like, holy shit, man. You did it. You, you didn't do anything and you sold it. You know, it's like, how do you make money in a gold rush? You sell gold equipment. You don't go gold mine. You don't mine gold. How do you, how do you make money in the liberal arts? You teach classes. You don't do liberal arts. Nothing to do. Um, so I, yeah, if you know, I, the, the perfect example is stock option trades. Lonely stuff or flipping houses. Dude, if, you, if you're that fucking successful at trading stocks or trading options or flipping houses, you wouldn't give away your secrets. The truth is they don't make any fucking money. And now they're going to sell classes. So that's, that's where, you know, at least, and this is where we, we should probably have a larger discussion one of these days about, I hate the term life coaches, or just coaches in general who give advice. Well, who the fuck are they? You know, at least, you know, I had a background. I was, I was in economics. I was in finance. I worked as an analyst. I didn't have rich parents go and give me money so I could lease Lamborghinis. Hey, check it out. It's flippity flop, flappity flip, and hey, suck my dick. Here's how we flip houses over in the YZ. You know, you, you, I'm trying to think who. Okay, uh, Rolo. He was. He still is. He still has his day job. He works in um, in uh, liquor uh, industry. Um, who's the other? The bald Canadian guy. We all love to pick on. Uh, Rich. Rich was in um, car financing or something. These guys had careers before they came. These these were hobbies. There's a uh, a guy I recently discovered better bachelor. He he was in IT. Uh, and now we're just these old fart guys with gray hair trying to pass on our wisdom. But we're authentic. We, we have these experiences. We're just normal schmucks that happen to come. Our, our resume doesn't include life coaching, life coaching, life coaching, life coaching. Going to find like going on my journey, man. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, dude. I've been on my journey. It sucked. And here's how you can avoid that painful fucking shit. And so that's what I smell with this. Hey, you can make a ton of money programming web. Oh, sorry. Programming websites. Well, then why the fuck are you programming it, dude, bro? Because he's not making a ton of money. And I've, I did a video yesterday. <clears throat> um, a lot of this low-level IT stuff is getting commoditized. I'm going into cybersecurity, dude. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really skeptical of. Well, I'm not. I'm fully skeptical of it. Um. Because honest truth is, I look now. If you go to olderbrother.com and assholeconsulting.com, you're gonna see my shitty website designing skills. Uh, but you can program. This is something that's completely self-taught. It's a hobby. Hang on. Let me look up. Don't take this out on her. She doesn't know anything about my politics. But one of my favorite bands is Davina and the Vagabonds. And uh, Davina. She lived in Minneapolis. Now she's traveling around the world. Just a wonderful, a, a great, just tune in. You, I, her genre of music may not be that. So here you go. You go to DavinaandTheVagabonds.com. Let me check out her website. Um, yeah. Oh, and this isn't even the best reincarnation. She had a beautiful website one time. This this is fine. This is functional. It's clean. Uh, but Davina, on top of being an amazing pianist and a wonderful voice, she programmed her own website. How? She taught herself. Okay? And that's, that's, I mean, my websites do not compare to Davina and the Vagabonds. But I have functional websites with what little shitty programming I've done. Uh, and I think you can learn how to program. I think it can be all self-taught.
there's a ton of tutorials. You could start by learning how to program through WordPress or you go through uh, Quicks, Fix, Square, Foursquare, Squarespace. There's programs with just more drop and click and it does all the background programming for you. Um, and there's a bunch of people in the industry, man. It's, it's now a flooded industry. Hang on, let's look up web designer. You know, and this probably could be web developers. All right, well. Yeah, $70,000. That's median pay. That's not bad, but it's not like if you put two years into going, I don't know, uh, nurse practitioner or uh, you got a computer science degree, that you'd be starting out closer than that, than in mid-level career. I think there's just so many, it's not, you know, it's like doing Excel. You could teach yourself Excel soon. Most people will be able to program their own website. Uh, and there's going to be more and more tools that allow you just drop and click, you know. So, I, I, it's not worth it. I don't think so. You could go online. There's a ton of tutorials. I watched them. So, I mean, go to olderbrother.com. You look at that site. It's not the greatest, but does it work? Well, that's me fucking around for a day. Okay? And uh, it, I don't think you need the class. I really don't. <clears throat> um... Seem like I'm going to develop a real skill and then potentially screen business could be up to in my mind. Only reason I might be wary of this is how I found a forum. It's a lucrative anyway. Could I could have you glance over the specifics once you reply? I don't have to. I don't because you could teach this to yourself for free. And you should do it on the side as a hobby. Again, the perfect ideal world is your security guard at night, and you just teach yourself. I didn't have the internet when I was a security guard for like the first third of my security guard life. We didn't have laptops. Remember my buddy Brian Hammer had a black and white laptop. It was the most amazing thing ever. I didn't even have internet. There was, you know. Uh, now you can teach yourself anything you want if you're secluded in a third shift, nighttime, leave me the F alone type of shift. No humans around. And you could teach yourself that while making money. And then you have a skill and you could offer your web design uh, sites or uh, services. But it's just going out and doing, man. It's the same thing how I learned how to dance or jujitsu. I didn't take classes. You went out and did. Now, jujitsu, you do take classes, but then he even said, or, or sensei, whatever, he's like, okay, here's what we're going to practice a little bit. Now fight. You know, and then the two thirds of the class was us actually doing jujitsu and rolling around on the mat, having toes in your face. Somebody's crotch right there. Fuck. Uh, keep in mind, I am a truck driver making decent money and with a lead on a job making 110000 plus annually. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be, dude. I just told you, median guy with five to ten years experience is making 70. The reason I'm looking to transition on the industry is I don't like the, oh, who, fuck, who gives a shit if you like your job? Jesus Christ. Come on, guys, you're not, people who tune in here, you're not pussies. Okay? Stop being pussies. Who don't like my job? Fuck, who does? I don't like the job. I want to be location independent while traveling, a.k.a. digital. Oh, don't we all? Don't worry, I'm not buying in any mini class on how to skip the rat race work from your laptop. Some beach programs are $4.99. Do they offer those? Do they? Look, buddy. He... There was a guy the Masculine Geeks had on, and he was a digital nomad, and he did the Southeast Asian thing. And the only thing that I remember about him distinctly was he was one of the few black guys to do it. He was younger, and he was black. <clears throat> so I'm not saying that for racial reasons. I'm saying that so maybe you could find it, hunt it down, and identify this guy. And he says it sucks. The digital nomad thing sucks. You know, it's tiring. It taxes you. You know, the guys that go down there permanently end up becoming alcoholics because uh, there's nothing else to do. And the t the travel and everything is tiring. And you, you it's one of those that you think you want that hot girl who's a 10 until you date her and find out she's a psychopath. I wish people would do the traveling, take a year off, a gap year in high school before they go to college. 
so you know it's not all that great. You think you want that. And the truth is, it's going to take you more time to get to the digital nomad life you think you want than if you just stack money, you are making $110,000 a year. You can stack money over 10 years and be done. If you need specific instructions, get Early Retirement Extreme or go buy Bachelor Pad, uh, not Bachelor Pad, uh, Poor Richard's Retirement. Read those two books, okay? And then you can be a digital nomad. Then you, yeah, and you won't even have to work. All right, that's, you know, or get, um, look for Daddy's, MGTOWbooks.com. Is it MGTOW's Guide? I don't know if it's MGTOW's Guide. Retiring on $200,000 in Southeast Asia. Get that book too. Read that if you want to go check out that area or just look at the finances and everything, the math of it all. And it's the, it's that 200,000. I say it's a quarter million, but he says 200. But that number is key because that's what you need to stack up and save to make it work. <clears throat> and you, uh, you're giving up a six-figure job to go do something that's going to take you at least five to 10 years to get to a level where you're making 70 grand. No, drive your fucking truck. Be thankful as hell you're making six figures. Live cheap. You don't even do need a place. Can't you just live in your truck? And if you want on the side, yeah, go ahead. It's, but no, man. If you were like an 18-year-old kid, yeah, okay, fine. But no, you're making damn good money. Don't give that up. All right. Sponsors. I've mentioned some of those books, even though um, Jacob Fisk doesn't endorse it. Uh, the Catholic Red Pill. For you Catholics and Red Pill, there's Mary Jo. Personal Finance 505 by J.D. Sywick, spelled S-W-I-K. You have to look that up because if you look up the title, you're not going to find it. That's my book. I'm not going to advertise that. How Not to Become a Millennial. Uh, Learning from America's Largest Sociological Disaster by Vince Barrick. My book, Bachelor Pad Economics. God, I'll these two books alone. I mean, look at how much fucking wisdom is here. And the Penn's Principle. How Not to Get Me Too'd, basically. Lessons All Men Must Learn from Ford Cavanaugh by Randall Bentwick. All those books and, event and stuff available more. Thing Stuff by Save Your Life. These seriously, all these books, mine and others included, would save the average man and woman two hundred thousand dollars in a decade of their life. Right here. You're ruining my trays. Fuck, I wake up. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.